Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout 3, part 46. And we are on our way, slowly but surely, to Smith Gacy's garage to find our dad. Like I said, we're gonna be hitting all the locations on the way there. Really glad I took Explorer, so that we can really plan out ahead and we know exactly where to go next. I'm hoping to hit these two parts next, but we'll see what we're able to find on our way over there. Here's to hoping everything goes according to plan. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're already under fire. Working quick. I don't know from where. A lot of mines here. I don't want to blow them up while I'm having to fight. Go ahead and clean this up. Also, dog meat's good at setting these off if I don't clean these up. Okay. There's also a trip wire, I see. For a grenade bouquet, I would guess. Nope, cro a giant bar. Nuka Cola. God, they have traps everywhere over here. They did not want people getting in this way. What a shame, because it's gonna happen. They know where we are? Uh, no, that was a shotgun trap that I didn't see. Damn. A lot of traps. After oh my god. After all I disarmed. Alright, we need to heal. Hold up. I don't remember that we were in this bad condition, but we definitely are. It's been, it's been a few days since I've been able to play. Some good nuka colas. Any Mirelurk meat on us? No? No. Ooh, guns and bullets, though. Go ahead and pop that real quick. Okay. Why not? Let's let's down one of these Yagwai meats, right? Yes? No? No, I feel like those are too valuable. Let's pop more nuka colas. There we go. Oh my god. Something happened I didn't even recognize. Okay, mark six turret. Bam, and pow. Very good. Baseball trap, that's fine. This place is mad trapped, it's insane. I'm surprised they, they could, like, set up that many traps and not worry about setting off their own traps. Stim pack, vodka, dirty water, and go and force a very easy lock. Buff out. Yes, drug us up. Come on out. Here I am. I'm out. Boom! <laughs> We're back to letting Trenton know the way, teach the wasteland what he's good at. Very good. Wow, that's a lot of safes. What the hell? It's so fun doing so much of this game, knowing absolutely nothing. It's just such a breath of fresh air. Especially, I've been playing a lot of Mass Effect Legendary Edition lately, and it's been really fun. Um, and there's a lot of it I don't remember, but I remember the main story beats, and that's... It's been its own thing. These saves... These safes... Are so... Good. I cannot believe the amount of drugs are in these safes. There must be, like, a major drug compound around here or something. Wow, wow, wow. I love that. Force a very easy again. Uh, we definitely don't need sleep. It is day 28, by the way. Or 29, one of those. Point is, we are getting extremely close to the end of our first month in the wasteland. And for Trent to already do what he's done in less than a month... Is an accomplishment of it is accomplishment in of itself. I don't know why I'm struggling to talk today. Uh, there's got to be somebody somewhere, right? It wasn't just her. No, I'm not seeing anything else. Maybe dog meat killed somebody. If so, good job, dog meat. All right, so we are headed west. Yes, and we've been to this like. Uh, factory thing where the keepers and the shooters or the wings or whatever were. I believe that's what this place was. Turrets? Really? Unexpected? Can I shoot through that? Oh my god. I can definitely shoot through that. A little too through that. There we go. Oh, hello! We got some sledgehammers and knives coming our way. Thanks for coming.
coming. Get these kills and then, uh, uh oh. I think Dogmeat stole that so we don't get our bats reset. Yeah, that sucks. Here's what it is. Alright. Shotgun, go get him. Go get him, dog meat. I'm coming, I'm coming. Woo! There's a big old explosion over there, whoa. Alright, let's stay alive. Stay safe-ish. Just because Trenton's a badass now doesn't mean he's unkillable. Yeah, like that. That's exactly what I was... Something like that is exactly what I was worried about. Damn, this raider's stacked! Holy shit! Why does her chest look so much bigger than everyone else's? Random thing to catch, I know, but like... Wow. Alright, missile missiles. Good. Okay. Guess it was just what she was wearing that made it look that way. Uh, pa pa quantum. Pugilism Illustrated. I believe that's a sneak skill book, right? Unarmed. Never mind. Unarmed skill book. Very good. We'll take that. We will take that. More frag mines. It's incredible how many frag mines exist out in this wasteland. Absolutely incredible. Oh no! Oh, I hit force lock on accident. We actually got the 60%, thank God. Otherwise, I think we would have locked ourselves out of that. I almost really messed that up. Got lucky. A lot of random goodies over here. Mentats, I see you. Okay. Radex, nice. All right. Wow, they were really set up. It's a shame they had to make a stupid decision like picking a fight with uh, us, dog meat. You'd think that word would have gotten around by now that if you see a lone man with a power fist and his dog. Oh, Jesus, you let him go. I hit F instead of R, and so. Okay. Yes, it is time to die. Just for you, sweetie. Sorry about this. Not sorry, though. Oh my god, super slow mo. Boom! <laughs> and Trenton knocks another notch. Another kill. How many has he killed? It's been almost a month, and he's killed 278 people. He averages about 10 kills. 10 people killed per day out in the wasteland. Imagine taking 10 human lives every day since you left the vault. I mean, I kind of feel sorry for him, almost. Uh, Trenton's had to become a badass. There was no other option. It was become a badass or die, basically. Oh, there's the Chinese army spec. Whatever, whatever. That's the sneak book, for sure. Good start to the skill books today, damn. Sneak plus one. We take those. Sneak 87 on arm 97. Very nice. Let's see. Uh, more people over there. Missile launcher out. Because that's a long stretch of nothing. Let's see if we can get a little closer. The answer was no. Ah. Our missile shots suck. Uh-oh. Bitch tried to blow up the car next to us. Come on, switch weapons, switch weapons, switch weapons, switch weapons. It just needs to reload. It won't let me switch weapons until it reloads. And then we'll pump this raider full of steel. There he goes. Look at his head roll. Literally. Oh my god. Just don't pick a fight with Trenton and Dogmeat. I mean, honestly, even if Trenton wasn't here, Dogmeat could probably take these guys. Actually, I'm positive Dogmeat can take those guys. Alright, down until we're down to a 12-pack of Nuka-Cola. Delicious. Uh, that's more right there. They're everywhere, I'm telling you. More raiders. Wow. Oh, shit. We... 
We skip this stuff. I kind of want to get around to that, see if we can go do that. Oh, she's alive. Whoa. Wow, really? One of the tougher raiders, I guess? <laughs> Not anymore. Alright, we searched that place. That's right, and we did see raiders out here, we just didn't fight them. Okay. So. Yeah, more raiders, of course. Why wouldn't there be? They're everywhere in the wasteland, apparently. Ooh! Oh my god. He's a soft raider. One punch! One of those 10 experience raiders where they're really soft. Yeah. Barely a fraction of what we need for a level up. Pathetic. Outcast Outpost and Bailey's Crossroads Metro. I think Bailey's Crossroads Metro just takes us in, which we've already been to everywhere except the Citadel, so we don't need that. So let's go this. And one of the very few things I remember about Fallout 3 is we'll eventually get to the Citadel one way or another. There's no real way to avoid that, so don't worry about that. We'll get there eventually. Um, I'm just following this road. I'm not really sure how or when we're going to get to where we're trying to get to. Here's... Or it was a metro. It's not anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Yeah, go ahead and open your gates. Let's get that Grim Reaper sprint going. Damn it, Dogmeat. Oh, he's, Dogmeat's too good. He's not letting us get the Grim Reaper sprint. There it is. Oh, I critical strike Dogmeat. Jesus. All right. We're making it happen, Dogmeat, even if it's not perfectly clean. Okay. What is this? It's something we can open. Metro access? Bailey's Crossroads Metro. Oh, shit. Outcast Outpost is right here, too. Uh, good thing we took Explorer, I guess? This is weird. Hello? And I'm sure this metro ends in the, like, in the other metro entrance. The one that's marked on the map. Yeah, that's caved in. There's no normal way into this metro. More Nuka Cola, thank you. What do we got down here? Ghouls, huh? Not concerned about that. Unless it's a Reaver, Pharaoh Ghoul, I really am not worried about it. Those Reavers are the only ones I worry about. And, the, and it goes from, like, not a Reaver, not worried at all, to a Reaver, very worried. Those Reavers are insanely stronger than their peers. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. It's Feral Ghouls. Um, anything down here I should be aware of? Uh, maybe? Foot Locker? No? Somebody was making a go of it down here in this corner. And had a guy next to the fireplace that he starved to death. That's messed up. But let's go ahead and get back up here. This whole place kind of fell apart, huh? Wrong button again. Mm. No, nothing? Alright, I guess this is to the crossroads metro on the map itself. Uh, yes, probably. Some friendlies up here. Bailey's Crossroad Metro. Wish? Walking through a war zone? Defender Moral, whoa. Listen, local. If you want to be of use, help us clear the mutants between here and our base camp. If not, stay the hell out of our way. Sure, I'm in. I'm good at killing shit. Game on. Damn, these guys are well equipped, too. Find and enter the outco outcast base. Oh, shit. Hello. Let's help him out. Light him up. Oh, the paralyzing palm. Of course. They're just piling on top of each other. 
Oh, man. Uh, where's the next one? There you are. Super Mutant Master. Only gonna get one punch in, I think. Yeah. Paralyzing Palm? No? Okay. Got the crit, but no. No dice on anything else. There it is. One more down. Always good experience, these Super Mutants. Alright, we gotta keep pushing our, our advantage here. Looks like Super Mutant and a Defender are having fun up there. Direct confrontation up here. Woohoo! Lit him up! Okay. I see you. That's Defender Moral. Brotherhood Outcast died. Ah, rip. Centaur? They're nothing. So are standard super mutants. Ooh, man, he felt that one. Oh, see ya! Down he goes the stairs. Down the stairs he goes. Man, my English today. It's something special. Here we go. You like our jumping ability? We got hops. <laughs> How did this super mutant get up here? What? That's a talent. Nothing? It's just... He just got up here somehow? Alright. Well, let's go down the normal way. There we go. During another fight. Alright, things getting a little tense over there. Is that a Gatling laser, like, up for grabs? Real talk? We'll loot all this later. We'll loot all this later. We need to make sure they live. I want to loot it now, but that's not responsible. Shit, it wouldn't let me jump again. Let me up there. There we go. Ooh, nice miss. But at least we're up here. Nice crit. Remover sprint. Boom. Now they're down here. Just standard super mutants though, nothing big. Ooh! Got him with the paralyzing. We are getting Gatling lasered, aren't we? I need to watch our health. Oh my god. We're getting lit up. Holy shit. Woo like actually use a stim pack right now. Two of them. We're not big on using stim packs, but when you gotta use them, you gotta use them. Alright, pop I popped all my drugs. Medex, buff out, psycho, I believe. Okay, we also need to use medics. There we go. That should help us a lot. I think we lost the defenders. I think we failed to help them win. Super mutant with a minigun? That seems like too big a weapon for a standard super mutant. He probably picked that up off somebody. Bastard. That's an overlord, isn't it? I want to say that's an overlord. Yep. I was right. Here we go. Dog meat's okay though, right? Paralyzing palm. Please tell me dog meat's alright. I'm not seeing him anywhere. Paralyzing palm. We'll take care of this warlord. Slowly but surely. I mean, look at these guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he can still breathe, but that's it. Wow. These guys are so tanky. Gatling laser. I've been waiting for one of these. Definitely take that. Definitely take that. Okay, wait a second. Is Dogmeat alive? Dogmeat? Wait, I'm actually like legit scared. There you are. Oh, I didn't see you, boy. Good boy. Oh. I didn't see him! I was like, oh my god, did we lose him with everybody else? Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, well, everyone's dead now, so... Shit. I guess we can take our time. I wonder if I hadn't started looting right away if we could have made it, or if... Or if they were just outgunned by that super mutant overlord. I want to say that overlord was too much for them. And unless I knew about him ASAP and was and knew that that was what I needed to do to take care of ASAP, I don't think they stood much chance. 
Only reason I was able to beat him so easily is because Paralyzing Palm is insanely good. Otherwise, it wasn't going to go great for us either. Another outcast right there. Right. I'm not seeing Defender Moral. Did he just run ahead? There he is. Yep. That's really unfortunate. Now we have no one to vouch for us when we get to that uh, location, unfortunately. Uh, Pre-war money. Filing cabinet. Let's keep it moving, though. It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now. And like I said, we finally got a Gatling laser, so I mean, it's not all bad. Been waiting a long time to find one of those. How much ammo we got saved up for that? I'm, I've been saving EC packs this whole game. This entire game, we've managed to get about a thousand EC packs. <laughs> Just like a thousand seventeen. And I have saved them up all game. That's going to be hard to keep on top of. Outcast Outpost, they've got turrets, but they're not shooting us on sight, so that's promising. This Outcast Outpost looks really dreary. Uh, what? What's happening? Okay, more super mutants out of nowhere here. How did that happen? Why did that happen? Brute. Get up there. I love <laughs> that teleport is so nuts. We just make it happen. Like, look at this. We just go. Uh-oh. That's a miss. Uh, what? Wait. There he is. Our power fist is about to break. It doesn't have much juice left on it. Oh, uh, shit. Yo, it's really running out of durability. It might not last the whole fight. Two punches? Okay. Oh, three punches. Let's go. Right to the face. It's a good reaction. Okay. One left, it looks like. Huh. Ah, I didn't make it. Not with like, not without our little blitz to, <laughs> to make it on our own. Another super mutant master. He's been getting turreted, I guess. Oh, right in the gun. Down he goes. All right, interesting. They came in behind us there. All right, dog meat going back to the outpost now that we've defended it. Again, I suppose. <laughs> wow, our power fist is so messed up. Still got, like, battle music of sorts. Does this need repairing? No, it's just gonna go? Okay. Got a fancy elevator here. Activate switch. Whoa! Down we descend. Stay sharp. Don't open fire without my order. Well, it looks like they're not going to shoot us on sight. That's good. Dog meat's not with us, though. Hello? Who the hell are you? And what do you think you're doing? Defender Sibley. Whoops, this isn't the vault. Silly me, must have made a wrong turn. <laughs> wow, what is this place? Some place you locals ain't supposed to be. But, uh, since you're down here, let's go have a chat with the boss. Okay. Okay. This looks like a bunker, all right. Pretty well defended, might I add. It's over here. Sorry. I'm distracted easily. Nothing. But it was cool to find. All right, Sibley, I'm coming. Don't you worry. Oh, great. Just what we need. Yeah, glad I could help. <laughs> is that... Oh, my God. Look at how that brotherhood sister is sitting. 
That is hilarious. That is a hilarious sitting position for wearing armor that looks that badass. Look at that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so dainty a seating position, but so masculine and amazing the armor. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can't help myself. Rests. Ranks. There it is. Latest reports. Uh, 8.15.77. Sim version 736081 was scrapped last week after Chase ran through it himself. Said it didn't feel right. It was hard eventually determined he was referring to hardware issues, not anything to do with the software. Techs have been making modifications on the chair, but some ongoing issues remain problematic. Requests to administration to provide detailed schematics and hardware history have been neglected. Questions about the particular external interface requirements remain unanswered. Techs will attempt to, to attempt to compensate. The 6th of September, 77. Entry 0540. Sim back up and running after another few days of changes. Chase is running everyone ragged, making tweaks here and there. The Sim is, without any shadow of a doubt, divorced from reality. I've never seen the classified military reports, but some of the stuff Chase has added to the Sim, there's no way it happened like that. Version 736099 was scrapped after Chase decided his face didn't look just right. I realize progress reports aren't the place for this, but there are concerns that the man is losing it. No one confronts him because everyone is scared. After West Tech dropped off the grid, there were lots of rumors about the military comm commandeering private contractors. And no one wants to give Chase a reason to do that here. But really, what's the point of running the sim over and over and over? Any tactical data was mined months ago. Whoops. Okay. Program updates. Access denied. Excellent. Hello. Uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, you know what? That one might actually be fair. Here he is, Protector. Like you asked. Thank you, Defender. Give us a moment, please. Sir, Protector McGraw. Again, that I don't like this idea. Notice Looks like they're okay with me just taking stuff, so I'm gonna do that while they're talking. Yes, sir. Deep move. Coming local. <laughs> Look, Wastelander. I'm not sure what brings you here, but we don't like surprise visits from the local populace. You're lucky you weren't killed. But... Hey, I helped there's out. more to you than the average rubble dweller, hmm? That computer there on your wrist. The pit boy? you can be useful to us after all. I hope we're talking helpful useful and not tasty useful. Sure, we want to help out the surly guys in scary armor. I'd be happy to help, provided there's something in it for me. If you can help, then I suspect it will definitely be worth your time. You guys treat outsiders like shit, but you still beg for help. Typical. Spit it out, McGraw. I ain't got all day. Well, what do you want me to do? If you got the paying job I'm in, what's the situation? Um, Trenton. His personality is kind of these three. That's what he feels like, but he doesn't... But he's smart enough to kind of know not to say that. Or is he? If you got a paying job I'm in, what's the situation? Huh. He doesn't treat out- they don't treat outsiders like shit, they just talk to them, like, like, talking, sure, but they don't, like, shoot outsiders and shit. Uh, spit it out, McGraw, I ain't got all day. Wasting your time, am I? You're in my house, reject. You do well to remember that. Now shut up and listen. This could be worth your while. Records indicate there's some high-value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. The armory is sealed by a blast door, and we can't get it open. We're pretty sure anyone who completes the facility simulation program will gain access. But it requires a certain interface, like your Pip Boy. So you do know I what it's called. I need you to go into the simulator and complete that program, which will unlock the armory. Do that, and you'll get a share of the gear. Simulation, like a computer simulation of what? It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska, from Chinese communists. It was a pretty <laughs> nice. significant event in American history, according to our. Scribe. I think this is a DLC. I won't lie to you. It's heavy combat. Safety protocols disengaged. That means you die in the sim. Your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. Oh, excellent. You're still listening, so I'm going to assume you're interested. But time's wasting. Sibley can take you to the pod. Olin will get you brief. If you All want right. to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. Uh. Yeah, aiding the outcast. This is one of the DLC missions. Oh, we just stumbled on it. Let's go. That's two DLCs we've stumbled on in like three parts. This one we might actually do. You showing us there, Sibley? Ooh, first aid kits. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm distracted by the loot! By the loot! Locked door easy? I mean, it didn't say it was... Like, it wasn't red, it was cool, so... Hold up. What are you doing here? I'm just looking around, don't you mind me. That looks like it's not working right. Uh, is there anything that can be done about that? No? Are we just, are we just going with that right now? As, as it is? Are we just accepting that? Alright, if that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. I'm just, just curious. It seems a little weird is all. But okay. Shouldn't you be huddling in a cave somewhere? Oh, you're so nice to me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gary23! <laughs> Gary! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Had you had we not done the Gary vault yet, that would have been way more concerning. But because we've already done the Gary vault. That's fine. It's weird that the the body's still in here, but that's fine. Stim pack, purified water, medex, medex, nice. It just means they probably had a Gary try to get through the simulation, but it was a it was a Gary, no chance. All right. Knock knock, Olin. Fancy room, fancy pod for you. What? Yep. Let's hope you treat this one better than the last guy, huh? <laughs> Go to hell, Sibley. You know His that wasn't my fault. His voice is sure, wild. Whatever. Just make some progress, okay? We're all looking to get out of here. Fine. Then get out and let me do my job. Defender Sibley. You're Specialist here to Olin. Help. Fine. Then put this on. Get in the chair, and we'll run the simulation. Lady Killer. Whoa, slow down. Can we just talk for a bit? Oh... I'm sorry. Things have been tense here lately, and I'm afraid it's getting the better of me. I shouldn't be taking it out on you. Did you need something? Can you tell me more about what you're doing here? We're doing our jobs, locating technology, preserving it, and making sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Someone has to safeguard the future of the human race, right? McGraw right. thinks there's something of value here. I know not everyone agrees, but based on what I've seen, I think he's right. Okay, what can you tell me about the simulation? Don't you know? This sim had to have been one of the most important of its time. It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from the Chinese. Not up on your history, huh? Back before the world was nuked, the Chinese had invaded Anchorage, Alaska. That really amped things up. Okay. Eventually, the Americans went in and liberated the city. But there were heavy losses. This simulation trained soldiers for that engagement. Anyway, the technology here is impressive. But something's a bit off. Records suggest even some of the people who built this didn't understand it. Okay. Uh, why exactly do you need me? The simulation needs an external interface device to run correctly. I'm not exactly sure why. The records on that are spotty at best. Okay. We figured out that your pit boy there will suffice. Since you're kind of attached to it, you go along with it. You should be fine, assuming you can actually get some results. Sounds good. Guess I'll get to it. Okay. Don't forget to put the neural interface suit on first. We can't hook you up until you're wearing it. All right. Huh. Looks like we're doing a simulation, boys and girls. What does this look like? We look nuts, don't we? Oh my god, we look crazy. We look like a psycho, like... <laughs> we look like a psychotic patient with a hockey mask on. Oh my god, we look nuts. <laughs> Alright, though. Should so, we're gonna be going and entering the simulation pod next time. And we're gonna see exactly what this DLC has to offer. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey into Fallout 3. And I will see all of you next time.